Peace, family. Welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy, Black Star. Man, if you're not subscribed to that channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. Family, what's up, man? I, already, I wanted to talk about this uh, cartel <laughs> writing an apology letter, man. What part of the game is this? What part of the game is this? Now, something is up with this. I don't know what to what degree, you know, people speculating on all type of stuff, you know, drug deals going wrong. Uh, you know, some people even spoke on, you know, uh, organ trafficking and things like that. And I don't put anything past anybody. I know that three dudes going with one chick to get a C-sec. I mean, I said a C-section <laughs> to get a uh, tummy tuck kind of suspect. I ain't saying this drugs or anything. I ain't saying this, you know, I'm not saying this anything. I'm just saying it's suspect. And what's also suspect and crazy as hell is that the cartel put out a apology letter. And we're gonna read the apology letter. So here we go. Let me let me share my screen with y'all, right? What part of the game is this, family? And I think it's something a lot bigger. And again, like I said, I ain't speculating to know what, what the heck went on. But I'm just saying, three dudes <laughs> going with a girl to go get a tummy tuck is just, you know, that that's just suspicious. I could see you going with one dude or whatever. Y'all just out there, whatever, whatever. Three three dudes? Man, that's just, I don't know. That's just crazy to me. But uh, the Mexican cartel appears to have written an apology letter after the kidnapping and killing of Americans, saying it went against their rules of respecting life and well-being of the innocent. Then when you got the cartel writing apology letters, yo, you can do anything to, to niggas and get away with it. Yo, y'all just like real live went to war in the middle of the street. And just like killed some black people, y'all cool. Didn't have anything to do with anything that was going on, right? And again, I don't know if they did. I don't know if they didn't. Rest in peace to the to the um, ones who died and the families and all of that, right? But like, when it comes to black people, like why? <laughs> why can everybody just apologize? They like, I guess they feel like we just we just going to accept it anyway and just just issue an apology. But like. The cartel comes out and apologize. Let's go down here. I want to read a little section of this. I'm going to skip through a lot of it and just read a little section to y'all. Right? Watch this. I went too far. Sorry. So it says, the letter which was supposedly written by the Scorpion faction of the Gulf Cartel um, denounced the kidnapping and killings and apologized to the local residents, including a woman who had died during the initial confrontation in which the group was taken. AP reported the letter also apologized to the Americans and their families. So they apologize to the people and their families. And this is what they actually said in the letter, right? We have decided to turn over those who were directly involved and responsible in the events who at all times acted under their own decision-making and lack of discipline. Now, let's let's break that down real quick, right? Y'all turned some people over, and they might not even be the people who were shooting. Let's be for real, right? They might not even be some the people. They might be some old dummy drunks <laughs> in the street talking about y'all Y'all just... You know what I mean? You done got some people and 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 they decided to turn themselves in. I bet they did. And they acted under their own decision making, right? Under lack of discipline. It said the letter added that the actions did not align with the rules of the cartel, such as respecting life and well-being of the innocent. The letter was accompanied by a photograph of five men, but it's unclear if the suspects were in custody. See what I'm saying? Yo, they'll tell us anything. They'll tell black folks anything. And these niggas really real live wrote a letter, apology letter. It was just like, yo, we, my bad. You know what I mean? My bad. 
y'all got caught up in a crossfire. Like, you know what I mean? We we shipping y'all from all these little different little stash spots. And come on, man. What's going on, man? How can so many other ethnicities move like this, but black people can't move like nothing? We got RICO cases, uh, people, the people in RICO cases with uh, record labels, they calling gangs. You heard? We talking about racketeering, extortion, all this other stuff, killings, and you charging record labels who you're labeling as a gang with RICO charges. Meanwhile, we got the cartel out here just like, yo, man, we apologize. This nigga was lack of discipline. And what? Yo, think about that. <laughs> yo, think about how deep that is, bro, that the cartel just came out and apologized for what happened. That's power. Something black people don't have. Don't have any power. You feel me? And again, the reason why Mexico can do some of the stuff they do is because they have resources. Right. With resources come power. He who has the resources has the power. Right. And of course, they don't have all the resources. Right. But they still have enough resources to have some power, though. This is why, you know, black people, we need to get a hold of some resources so we can take this on that note. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a lot of power to just, you know, rock some people in the middle of the street. They ain't had nothing to do with nothing and just be like, yo, we apologize. We got some dudes. People don't even know if they're in custody or not. Like I said, that's what I said before I even read the end of that. Like, yo, <laughs> they probably got some flunkies to, to go do that. You feel me? Some people that's not even part of the cartel. They just like, yo, go to jail, fam. You just sitting out here drinking all day. <laughs> You know what I mean? Sniffing coke, <laughs> shooting, shooting heroin. Come on, man. Sit your ass down for a little bit. And who knows who we, we not going to get no Mexican news to tell us how much time they got for that. See what I'm saying? We don't even know if they locked up talking about uh, people turned themselves in. You don't even know if they locked up. man. Come on, dog. What we doing over here, man? And look how look how their people, you know, play with their people. You feel me? They like, yo, because they know the, the cartels is is gangsters and killers at the end of the day. That's what you need. That's what you need in these in these countries. You feel me? That's what you need out here, dog. That's what you need, dog, for real. That's why they like, fuck it. I mean, y'all could be our army, nigga. Listen, we let y'all get a cut and a cut and a cut. You feel me? Shit go down. You ain't you ain't um uh, you ain't running with us. You feel me? We we acting like we investigating y'all and all that shit, but y'all really running with us and helping us. Y'all are y'all are um our muscle. You feel me? That's how that shit moving. But man, that's crazy, dog. I thought that was crazy when I seen that. Like, yo, an apology letter for real? These niggas really wrote an apology letter. Apology letter from the cartel, bro. The game has changed, bro. You got niggas out here just telling. You got the cartel writing apology letters. and It's definitely something more to that story than what, you know, than what they saying it is. Because, you know, it's a whole lot of covering up and a whole lot of, you know, it was a, probably a lot more to that. But um, yeah, it's just fishy, bro. It's just fishy. And I ain't just saying it's, it's, it's fishy. I think it was just kind of fishy on both ends. And I don't think that they coincide with each other as far as like, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna just give an example. Like, just say that they came over there, and I'm not saying that they lock, that they that this happened. Like, this is just an uh, you know, an example, right? Just say they came over there trying to push some drug, and they just got killed in some crossfire shit. Like, I don't think one had to do with the other, like. You feel what I'm saying? I, I just think whatever happened, which still, regardless, whether it was some drug shit or some other stuff, I still feel like it was something more to them coming over there that deep for one person to get a surgery.
for one person to get a surgery all the way from South Carolina. It's like, okay, you going to Mexico, but it ain't like you going to a part of Mexico that's like a um you know, that's super popping or something like Cancun or some shit like that. Like, why all dudes go to like, OK, you it's like one thing. It's like, all right, I'm going to bring my man going to come with us or whatever. Like you want two niggas, like three niggas came like, damn, one of the niggas had a wife like his, his wife is speaking. I'm like, I don't know what's going on with that unless she just like mad, you know internally like what this nigga doing out here with this bra like why y'all you feel me just think about that most girl be like yo why you want to go out here with this girl you know what i mean let's go to get i'm with my mans and i know well let him go with her like you feel what i'm saying why you gotta go nigga i don't know it just i don't know it just doesn't seem right the three dudes to go with one girl just to get a tummy tuck just seemed kind of suspicious Family, hit that subscribe button, man. We in the building, man. But yeah, that you know, family, listen, we black people, and it and also even it goes on to like how black people are treated around the world. It's the same, man. It's the same. Nobody likes us for real. Nobody likes us. Nobody likes us. No, no culture, no country, even foundational black Americans, like even you going to Africa, it's really not. I'm not going to say it's no love. We're not going to say it's no love at all, but, you know, the love ain't really where it is. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying that we don't, we don't need to we need to work with Africans and stuff like that, but I'm just saying it's, it's, it's really not no love like that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, we got to we gotta just, you know, rock with each other and be off the same type of time they on. See how they, they gangsters and they political people work together? to form some strong alliance where people just can't go over there saying, yo, come on, whoop, 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 and just go over there just extorting and running stuff because they still work together. It's like, man, listen, shit is about working together, man. That's why I kind of like the movie um, uh, uh, Godfather of Harlem. And I know it's not all the way based on the true story, but you know how Malcolm and Bumpy rocked with each other to an extent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's how stuff has to be. Feel me? Nobody's saying that you, just because you're dealing with this person that you got to be involved with what they're involved with. But we do have to meet at some point in the middle to be able to, you know, progress us as a community, as a whole. You feel what I'm saying? So we can, you know, do better. But I'm up out of here, family, man. I'm going to let y'all go. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all um hit that podcast up too, man. Hit my podcast up, Blackstar TV 2.0, man. We up out of here on all platforms.